to get all this set up for, because I know you guys are screaming like crazy when I say her name. Cypher. Okay, so you guys need to tell me, can you see through these pants? Yes. <laughs> I put them on and then I was too lazy to change. You know. <laughs> so that's a yes. <laughs> I love your face off. I'm mentally making out with your forehead right now. <laughs> that's some love. All right, the piece that I'm going to do tonight is called Because I Love You. I don't know if you guys are, some of you are probably familiar with that. And it's for the love that you have that maybe not everyone understands. I should have run like hell was chasing me. Out of that white dress, out of the maddening delusion, out of my mind, out of my mind and into my heart. And from the start, if I had just ignored my brain, my fears, my insecurities, my fumbling, faltering attempts at, at mom, need me. Daddy, love me, someone. Can you see me? And for just one second, if I had righteously screeched the voices to a halt with resounding shut the fuck, Maybe, just maybe, I'd be lying on your breast right now, having blissfully damned what society would allow ear to heart, listening to the gentle rhythm of home, 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 home. But I was afraid, I was afraid of how I might have pissed off God and how they, they'd bluster around like some kind of thunderstorm if I didn't perform ominous and threatening and just peeling off the fucking walls with their condemnation, don't they know? You can't disown what you never owned to begin with. And you and I, oh, we would love like two middle fingers pointed at the sky. I'd be high on your taste on my face, but instead sometimes I could swear the steady hum of whatever could snap and just slap me onto the floor. I'm loving your smile and your stare. It rips right through me. Please, please kiss me. Or kill me. My heart is so sore. And yes, I remember the car ride where us died, where I told you what they said and what, and what I was doing. And, and you curled into a ball and you, you rained against my chest and I drove on staring out the window thinking that somebody, they should plant a highway memorial with fancy ribbons and bears right by mile marker 87 to remember we. And I need you to forgive me because yours is the only face I see when I make out with my mirror and I, I'll never see clearer than I do through your eyes. I want another chance almost as much as I love you. I love you. I want to dip you in hope, soak you in it until you're saturated, and then flip you over and do it to your other side like a piece of French toast. <laughs> I want you to dream dreams so much bigger than them that they like they pierce through the ozone layer and they, they tap the universe on the shoulder and I want you to create with such passion and intensity that the creator goes, damn, I wish I thought of that. And I want to stand at the summit of the waterfall of your tears and I want to swan dive into your pool of compassion until ripples of awareness push further and further out until everyone and everything I come into contact with, it's, it's effective from what I've learned from you. If I could master time travel, if I could unravel the past until I arrive back in that sticky day in June as we 
bumped over steaming asphalt in that 1979 Ford, I would throw myself in front of the car until I come storming out of the driver's side screaming obscenities at myself. At which point I from the future would finally have the courage to say shut the fuck up. And this time all of me would listen. And when I from the future goes back, you and I, we would pull off onto the shoulder, recovering from the schizophrenic attack, and oh, you would trace my cheek, and I would draw your ring finger into my mouth, murmuring you. Plus me, we equal forever. Because never mind what the they's in this world say. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah.